Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Kids Connection. My name is Audrey Zorik, director of Kids Connection here at Vallejo Drive Church, a place where we learn how to connect with each other and with God. Today, we're going to be connecting with God through a Bible story about someone who had to make a choice. So stick around, see what the teachers have for you at the end of the program, Kids Connection, and following this program with your classroom teacher. Now, this past week now has been a cool week. However, today is going to be a hot day. It has been a hot day yesterday, today, expected to be a hot day tomorrow. So drink a lot of water, stay in the air conditioning, stay in the pool, go to the beach, make sure that you're not exposed to the sun. It's going to be a hot day. I have my water. I'm drinking a lot of water and I hope you do too. If this is your first time, we want to welcome you and invite you to come back each and every Sabbath for a new Kids Connection program. And if you're a regular, it's always good to have you back. Thank you for joining us and for being a part of our Kids Connection program. Last week, I said that we were going to take Kid to make some visits. Now, we took Kid out and Kid stopped by two houses last week and say hello to some kids. And now I want you guys to watch the video as Kid made some visits to the kids here in Glendale and Los Angeles last week. Watch the video. It was so fun to see Kid saying hello to all the boys and girls. And if you want to visit from Kid, send us an email, vdkidsconnection at gmail.com. Give us your address. Tell mom and dad to coordinate with me. I will drive Kid to say hello to you and from a distance, and we'll take some pictures. And it's always good to see you guys. I loved seeing the kids. I miss you guys so much. And every chance I get to see one of the kids or one of you guys, I, I, it always brings joy to my heart. Speaking of joy to my heart, we just had a birthday yesterday. Yes, I am talking about Sammy. Sammy had a birthday yesterday. Happy birthday, Sammy. If you are having a birthday or if you are having a birthday that is coming up or already passed and if, if we missed it, send us a note. Let us know that it's your birthday. We want to wish you a happy birthday. So happy birthday, Sammy. Sammy turned five yesterday. We love you. We miss you. And happy birthday to all the boys and girls who we have missed a birthday so far. But let us know. Have mom and dad contact me direct vdkidsconnection at gmail.com we would love to wish you a happy birthday on the air okay thank you so much now i'm gonna invite you to stand up get ready to sing our song of the day today the song of the day is i have decided to follow jesus you know this song i know this song let's sing the song together about our theme for today
Wow, that was awesome. I loved it. Singing the song and hopefully you guys got to sing it along with mom, dad, uncle, grandma, grandpa, whoever you're watching with at home. Maybe someone, maybe a friend that is watching you uh, while mom and dad are busy doing something else. So I hope you guys had fun. Now I'm, gonna, I'm going to invite you to bow your head so we can talk to Jesus. Dear Jesus, thank you for this beautiful hot Sabbath. Thank you because the boys and girls have joined us today for the program. We ask that you be with us as we learn more about you, as we connect with you today. Learn, help us to um, keep us safe during this pandemic. And thank you for all the boys and girls who are watching today. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Excellent. Now, let me ask you something. Have you been to an island before? An island? What is an island? Well, some of you don't know. An island is a piece of land that is surrounded by water. I have been on several islands before. But today's missionary story is about a, a, a girl named Esther who lives in an island. And she decided to do something different. Let's watch the story of Esther who lives in the Solomon Islands. The Solomon Islands, a nation of hundreds of islands in the South Pacific, is home to 600,000 people with more than 52,000 Seventh-day Adventists. That is nearly one Adventist for every 11 people. The church in the Solomons is growing. We are excited that God is leading the church. And the church is growing so quickly that we have a huge logistical challenge. We need many Bibles. We have a number of institutions, more than 400 companies, and we've got about 197 uh, yeah, organized churches. In health, we have one hospital. In the education sector, we have uh, 13 high schools, and we have more than 100 uh, schools in total. We have between 14 and 15,000 students attending all our schools. We have a significant number of baptisms also happening every year through our schools. It's a big mission to run and the islands are scattered over many, many kilometers of ocean. And so we have our challenges. Barigama is uh, actually one of the oldest uh, college here in the Solomon Island. It started way back in 1948, and uh, that was after the Second World War. And it is a place, actually, it is more focused on mission, for uh, training missionaries. Uh, in this uh, college, we have uh, students who have difficulties in their school fee. There are some children who really struggle. Some children even, because they, were, they are interested to become Adventists, that their parents didn't want to even meet their school fee. So we think that the school must try to help them. Nestor's family is not Adventist and finds it hard to pay school fees. But Nestor chose to come to this school because of its reputation for quality education. I work hard on holidays and even weekends for the school fee. Every weekend I go down to town to make us uh, marketing to earn an income to support me while I'm in school. Nestor would escape the school grounds on Sabbath when everyone was focused on special activities. On this day, she would sell donuts at the market to pay for school and buy herself the supplies she needed. When the school staff noticed Nestor was missing, they were worried, but they soon learned why she was working so hard, and they wanted to help. One day, a school administrator called Nestor into the office to tell her she couldn't leave school during Sabbath hours. He also told her that she'd been accepted into the Student Support Fund. She would no longer have to work to pay her fees. I am very thankful of the Student Support Fund, of the school who had supported me with clothes and school fee support. My plan for the future is I want to become somebody to help my parents. And I wish that I could become a, a doctor. Please pray for the people of the Solomon Islands. May God bless them as they learn the truths of the Bible and feel the love of God through human hands. That was so cool what Esther is doing to share the love of Jesus with other people. Now we can help too by being supportive.
supportive with our offerings. So click on the link above where it says offerings and ask mom and dad to help donate to the missionaries that are sharing the love of Jesus, just like Esther in other places in the world. Okay? Thank you so much for your support. Now, today we're going to be talking about um, a, a choice of faith. It's the story of someone in the Bible. But to help you understand about choices, I'm going to ask you to join me on a game that we're going to play right now. This is going to be fun. I don't know what you're going to choose, but you'll know and hopefully you have fun. Join me on a table down here so we can watch, so we can participate on this game today. Okay, now this is the game that I was talking about. And on this game here, as you can see, I have a whole bunch of numbers, one through seven on my table. What it is, is that underneath each bowl, I have something. I forgot which one is which, but, and you don't know which, what is underneath. I want you to choose a bowl. Have you, mom, dad, whoever is watching with you, go ahead and invite them to play this game with you. Choose a different number. You cannot pick the same. So you all, you will all have a different number. And I'm going to reveal them to you and you will see what's underneath each bowl. And let's see what you end up with, okay? If you were, if we were all here present, I was going to invite someone and uh, and actually give whatever is underneath each bowl to that person that chose, okay? But since we're not, you're, we're just gonna do this for fun. You're gonna choose just to see what you got and uh, I'm gonna reveal it to you. So here we go, drum rolls. Between one and seven, which one did you pick? I'm going to start with number four. Let's see what's underneath number four. Are you ready? Did you pick number four? Here we go. Hey, underneath number four, there is a beautiful, juicy apple. Ooh, this apple smells good. Oh, I wish I could eat it now. Maybe I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat it after the program. So if you pick number four, you, you end up with an apple. Good for you. That's nice, nice and healthy. Uh, let's see. Uh, let's go with number three. I wonder what's underneath number three. Number three is, oh, this is funny. Underneath number three is a whole bunch of screws. Look at this. There are screws. You see that? Uh, I wonder what you're going to do with the screws if you picked number three. But this is funny. I can actually use a lot of screws. And this is a big one. Look at this. Look how big the screw is. That's a big one. But if you chose number three, you, you would have ended up with a whole bunch of screws. Uh, let's see what else here can we go for. Oh, I'm going to go with number six now. Whatever's on number six. Ready? Here we go. Did you pick number six? Underneath number six are a whole bunch of Bible verses. Look at this. You Different colors. There's a blue one. There's a purple one. There's a green. There's a blue. And what you do is you pick one every day and you read that Bible verse, that scripture reading on the day that you choose. So you don't know what you're getting, but you're reading a different Bible verse every single day. And you would have end up with a whole bunch of Bible verses, okay? Did you pick number six? Did you like it? It was fun? All right, I wanna know what you guys picked, okay? So email me and let me know. Uh, let's go with number number five now, okay? Let's see what's inside number five. Are you ready? Did you pick five? Here we go. Oh, it's dirt. <laughs> it's a whole bunch, it's a bowl full of dirt. Did you pick number five? Did it surprise you? Yeah? Yeah. I don't know what uh, I could put the dirt on, on my plants at home. I wonder what you would do with the, with the dirt that you got if you chose number five. Now let's go with number one. Let's see what's underneath number one. Oh, yes. I'm going to be careful here, but look. Number one, there's water. Can you see it? I hope you can. You see that? Water, fresh water. And as hot as today is. Hmm. Oh, nice and cool water. So if you pick number one, you end up with nice, fresh water to drink on this hot day like today. Okay? 
All right, so now we have number two and number seven. Did you pick number two or number seven? We're gonna go with number two first. So let's see what's underneath number two. Whoa, look! If you pick number two, you end up with money. Look at all the money that is here. It, there's a $5, there's a, a $10 bill, there's a $1 bill, there's a $100 bill. Whoa, look at that. If you had chosen number, or if you chose number two, you would have ended up with $116. Whoa, that's a lot of money. Did you pick number two? Yes, you did? No? Oh, did you wish that you had number two? <laughs> okay, now let's go for our last one. Number seven. I wonder what's underneath number seven. Are you ready? Number seven, there is <gasps> a whole bunch of balloons in here. There are 100 water balloons here. There are those balloons that you fill with water and you have water balloon fights. It's a lot of fun. Again, on a hot day like today. Let me see if I can. There you go. You can also play instead of instead of playing like water balloons, you can also fill a hundred balloons and throw it up in the air and have some fun. What would you do with 100 balloons? If you had chosen a hundred balloons, what would you do? Would you have a lot of fun playing with your mom, dad, or siblings? Huh? 100 balloons you would have got if you had chosen number seven. Now, here is everything. We have water, we have $116, we have some screws, we have an apple, we have dirt, we have Bible verses, we have balloons, all different options and different choices, but you didn't know what was underneath, did you? Let me ask you something. Would it have been better if you knew what was underneath each bowl? I think it would have been, huh? Would you have chosen a different bowl had you known what was underneath? Or would you have still remained or kept the, the, the one, the choice that you chose? If you end up with the dirt or with the screws or with an apple, would you have chosen to give that up and instead of choosing number five for the dirt, you would have got, you would have chosen number two with the money or number one with the water. I would like to know if you, if it would have made a difference by knowing what was underneath each bowl or each number. You know, kids, our lives is full of choices. We make choices every day. I don't know about you, but I think I make maybe hundreds of choices every day. Some choices are big, other choices are small. And some choices may have a, a big impact in my life, and other choices have a small impact on my, on my life. And it can change our lives based on the choices that we have made for better or for worse. Today we're going to listen to a story in the Bible about a woman named Ruth. Have you heard a story of Ruth who had to make some important decisions? But the most important decision that she had to make was to believe in God. That was the most important decision. We're going to learn about that because our theme for today is a choice of faith. I hope you enjoyed the game that we played. Play the same game with mom and dad at home or with someone else. Hide things underneath cups and choose different items and see what you end up with and see how fun that can be, especially on a, on a day like today that you don't want to be outside on the sun. Maybe this is a fun game that you can play indoors, okay? Now I'm going to invite you to come back and sing our song of the day singing our song of the day, which is, I have decided to follow Jesus, because that is a choice that I make. 
Let's go ahead and sing our song of the day. Stand up and sing with us. No turning back, no turning back. Whoa! Thank you so much for singing with us. It is a choice that we have to follow Jesus. Remember that. Let's go ahead and close our program with a prayer. Dear Jesus, thank you so much for the fun that we had at Kids Connection today. Thank you for all the boys and girls that are watching this at home. Bless them and help them to make right decisions every day of their lives. Be with the, with the teachers that are going to present the story now of Ruth and help us to learn a little bit more, a, a little more about you and get connected with you. In Jesus' name we pray, amen. Excellent. Thank you for being a part of, our, of another Kids Connection program. Please come back next week as we have another activity planned for you and songs and fun so i can't wait to see you guys here at kids connection i wish i could give you a hug but we know the new thing now it is air hug so here comes my air hug to you guys i love you i miss you and i will see you guys soon okay don't forget to drink a lot of water and this weekend because it is a holiday weekend we are not having zoom a uh, kid to kid zoom tomorrow so we're not having that tomorrow okay don't worry about it uh, we will come back next week for another kids connection program until then god bless you i'll see you later bye bye kids